Hi folks, Donnie D here. Back out at my uh, little shooting place today. <clears throat> uh, wanted to do a test and review on a product that I received in the mail, I don't know, it's been a couple of three weeks ago. And been wanting to try them out, but the weather's been so rotten, I just hadn't really had a chance to get out and do it, so I decided I'd give it a shot today. The product is called Clay Clips, and it, uh, from what I've seen on their website and looking at their product, it looks like it's a really neat, very simple, inexpensive uh, idea for uh, making uh, stationary reactive targets using uh, regular sporting clays or clay pigeons, whatever you want to call them. Uh, you can see their website, www.clayclips.com. I believe their email, the correct email for them if you want to uh, email them and order some or inquire about them is uh, uh, clayclipsales at gmail.com. I hope that's right. I believe it is. Uh, on the back of the pack, it just gives you the uh, details about how to use them. Very simple idea. And let me show it to you. Basically, what it is is a stainless steel piece of uh, kind of heavy, uh, very stiff stainless steel wire that's bent in a certain configuration that allows you to simply clip it onto <coughs> a sporting clay or clay pigeon, whatever you want. Use this little angled uh, leg of it to just push down into the back of a or to the face of a cardboard or foam board, backer board, target board, or you can use this hook to actually hang them up on a wire to make uh, different types of in, uh, uh, arrangements of, uh, of uh, I, guess, I guess you'd call it reactive targets using these regular old uh, clay pigeons. So I thought I'd try to give it a good test today. I've got uh, five different handguns that I'm going to shoot them with. It's just to see, mainly to see how they how they hold up so far as uh, staying up on the back of board uh, from the different impacts. I've got my wife's Browning Buckmark. I've got a my Sig Pro 9mm. My uh, Taurus uh, 38 Snubby. My wife's uh, Lady Smith uh, 357 Smagnolium. And then we're going to pop it good fashion with uh, the old Bond arm snake slab. I wanted to shoot some 45 long colts through it, but I was out of them, didn't have, thought I had some, didn't have any. Uh, so I'm going to shoot it with some uh, two and a half inch uh, triple out buckshot. We'll see how well they hold up. I don't really see how you can go wrong with it. I'd like the worst thing I can see would be to take a, for the uh, clip itself to take a direct hit. And they're so small and low profile, I doubt that would happen. And even if it did, I'm not so sure you couldn't bend them back into shape if they got bent a little bit. Probably the biggest thing is that they get lost, but hopefully that won't happen today. So let me pan my camera around here. Uh, if I can get it up, there you go. Over to my board now where I've got the uh, place mounted. It's so bright out here today, thank goodness. I'm so glad to see the sun. I almost don't know what to do. Anyway, not very cool out here today. Very nice weather, beautiful day. Much prettier than it was yesterday when I was out here. But anyway, uh, I think I've got it in frame, yeah. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the bottom. Since I'm using some of my flash clays, they're going to spill out right much uh, chalk. So I'm going to start with the 22 first, and we'll take a pop shot at them and see how they do. And I'm, I'm standing here at about probably, I don't know, 15, 20 feet, uh, reasonable defensive training distance, and we'll, uh, we'll take a couple of shots at them. Let me get my ears on here. Like I said, I'm going to start with the uh, buck mark. Just take a few shots. <coughs> All right, let's try the old uh, 9 millimeter. Now the old 38 snubby. If I can hit with that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's move up to the uh, my wife's 357 Magnum. 
Whoa, missed with that. Did not that? Let's see what the old snake slayer can do with the uh, triple alt bucks. Let's see, it's been so long since I shot this thing, I almost forgot how. Ooh. I can't even hit with this thing. Let's try it out again. <coughs> I think I'm hitting all around it, spreading it out and hitting all around. Let's go back to the uh nine millimeter, see what we do. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> all right, now that's one of the games that you play is try to see if you can just take the center right out of our play. Alright, let's go back to the snubby. I think that's all on that one. Oh, had one more. Finish up the buck mark. Alright. Let's take the camera over there and see if uh see how they did. Woo! Let's see where am I here? There we go. Let's see, I had nine of them up here. One, two, three. Looks like we may have lost one, four, five, six, seven, eight. We lost one out of uh, nine. We probably looked down there. We might be able to find that one. And most likely that was due to a solid hit because it looks like I hit just about where the, uh, the hole was. But we still got eight of the... Uh, nine that I hung up here they're, they cling really good uh, what, what you need to do is uh, uh, take a look at these things go to their website at uh, www.clayclips.com got a nice website and they have a, a few videos on there where they show a bunch of different uh, arrangements that they've come up with ideas for games and uh, little shooting games and stuff like that to make it a lot of fun and uh, I've never really shot place uh, stationary like that before, but hey, it is a lot of fun. I kind of like that. But uh, I like these things, so give them a try. Clay Clips. Uh, www.clayclips.com at uh, clayclipsales at gmail.com for the email. But anyway, for right now, I think I'm going to shoot these things a little bit more. This is Donnie D. I'll see you later. Bye.